Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm doing a slightly different video to my usual ones. We're going to be talking about some of the Fallout 76 stuff you can buy on Amazon. Of course, not actually including the game or guide. This was going to be focused around one product in this list, as you can probably guess from the title, but as I had seen so many random things pop up, I thought I'd discuss some of the good ones. This normally happens when a new game releases, the merch and other stuff you can buy for it increases tenfold, especially as companies try and cash in on the game's success. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right into this. The first is the Your Special Full Pin Badge Set, which is basically a box of seven pins that's supposed to look like the Your Special book, of course representing each of the special attributes. They did one similar to this for Far Cry 5, and I have that, so yeah, I may or may not have ordered this to satisfy my Fallout 76 addiction. The next is a Cable Guy's Fallout Vault Boy 76 Cable Guy. Bit of a weird name, but I've seen a few of the Fallout 4 ones of these in Game, which is a game store, believe it or not, in the UK. And I did briefly own one, but that's a story for a different day. Anyway, of course, the main difference of the two is that this one has the 76 on the back of the Vault suit. Uh, I mean it's overpriced, but if you want something to hold your controller, or phone apparently, that happens to look like Vault Boy, then you can't really go too wrong with this. There's also these cool metal lithographs from fan wraps, who also make these lunch boxes, which basically comes like a blind box with a certain chance to get each one. Uh, I've got two of these, because the uh, first one I bought was Wolfenstein, uh, and I'm not a massive Wolfenstein fan, I mean I never really got into it, but then the other one I got was the classic Fallout 3 lunch box. Um, so if I remember to, I'll stitch in images of that here in post. So yeah, you can see both of those, but they're pretty cool. They're decent, but at the end of the day, who really has that much wall space to keep putting things like this and posters up, which of course, there's also a few of. Now onto quite arguably one of the coolest things, which I've had pre-ordered since I first saw it, and that's the Fallout Cookbook. Quick side note though, I do plan on doing a series of me attempting to cook random Fallout dishes, and that'll be like once a week or so when I get time to do it and actually record it. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. Now, however, onto something a bit more obscure. These Nano Force things, which from the listing are basically just those, you know, those green little army men figures you can get? It's those, but they're from Fallout and about five times more expensive. They work with other Nano Force army builder sets, but they didn't have any of those on Amazon and Google got me nowhere. So let's just safely assume that they're expensive plastic army figures from some weird company that want to bring back the 1930s. That's according to Wikipedia at least, and yes, I googled the origin of those little army men. Don't judge me, it's for this video. Kind of. There may however be more of these eventually though, as the listing does state this is part of series 1, which I don't know if anyone actually wants to see any more of those. So I think series 1 is a bit of a bold statement, especially if they plan on doing more. I mean, the big figures that they come with are pretty cool, but at the end of the day, they just look like army men, and they're 25 quid a piece, which is pretty insane. This does actually bring me onto the final item of the list, though. The Fallout trading cards, which, from my guess, given the apparent number of 144 cards in just the first series, is that these are basically going to be all of the perk cards from Fallout 76. As they have stated, there is apparently hundreds of those. There's 10 in a pack, with 144 base cards, 72 hollow foil uncommons, which for those of you who had a terrible childhood and never had Pokemon cards, hollow foils are basically the shiny cards that everyone wanted. Then there's 10 die cut rare chase cards and 5 ultra rare chase cards, which your guess about those is probably as good as mine. Okay, quick side note, I've been working on this video alongside the few others I released a few days ago. After that I did have a short break to recover. There's actually also a complete set available which I'm sure kind of defeats the point of trading cards, as that probably removes the, you know, trading aspect, which is kind of crucial to trading cards. But I digress. Anyway, that is it for this episode of spending your money on Fallout junk with Rayroon. Who knows, there may be another episode soon, especially as the game is now only a month away, and companies will be clambering over that last little dose of pre-order hype. If you find any cool or questionable Fallout junk, feel free to drop me a DM on Twitter or Instagram. The links will be in the description for the first ever time now. And if I get enough, I will feature them in a video. And whilst you're over there, why not drop me a follow? And if you're new around here, why not subscribe? 
Like I said though, that is it for this video. I really do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and peace.